One two three two two three. One two three two two three. Christmas tune for you today. We're going to work on We Wish You a Merry Christmas in the key of G. This song has a great melody and great chords, so it's a really good lesson to work on. We're going to break down the basic melody note for note, then I'm going to show you kind of a simple way to add some ornaments. So how do we add some basic hammer-ons and slides to spice up the basic melody? So I'm going to break down both solos note for note and then show you a bunch of backup stuff we're going to do. This song is great for working on basically modulating between open chords and then bluegrass style chop chords. So we've got a bunch of chords on this song. So this is a great lesson for backup. I'm going to do a pretty extensive backup lesson on this song and show you Again, how to move through the different shapes. We've got A7, we've got B7, we've got E minor. So we've got a bunch of different, more advanced chords, basically. I'm going to break them all down. All right, here's We Wish You a Merry Christmas in the key of G. All right, here's the beginning to We Wish You a Merry Christmas in the key of G. Let me play the first five measures, and then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Let's do that a few times. more time, a little slower. Okay, so we're going to start with our pickup and measure one. We're going to hit the open D string on beat three. Remember, this song's in three fourths. So we only have three beats per measure, three quarter notes per measure. So you can count one, two, three. One, two, three, and we're playing a down stroke. You can follow the pick directions below the staff. The staples are downs, the V's are ups. So we've got down on beat three, open D string. Then we're gonna put our third finger on the fifth fret of the D string and play that note. That's a quarter note. And then we're gonna play down, up, fifth fret, open A, back to that fifth fret. So keep your third finger down. And then 4th fret on the D, and then 2nd fret on the D three times. So that sounds like this. Let's look at the picking ones. We're doing downs on the quarter notes and down up on the eighth notes. So check out measure two, for example. Even though we're changing strings, we're still doing a down up. So we got down, down, up, down, up. And then right here, we're doing three quarter notes. We're going to do three downs in a row. That's going to help us play the timing. So it's three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three. Let's do that a few times. One more. good practice on figuring out how you have to bend your your third finger so you can get that open A string to ring out you don't want that obviously muting that string so you need to figure out how to bend your hand now measure four open A string same timing so open A for beat one and then a down up down up open A second fret on the A Back to the open A, and then a down, or an up stroke, excuse me, on the fifth fret of the D string. So you've got down, down, up, down, up. Same timing as measure two. One, two, and three, and. Even though we're changing strings, follow that down, up rule. And then fourth fret on the D string. Open, open. So three downs in a row there. Let's play four and five. first 
five. One more time. The other thing you can do, kind of more of a style or technique thing, is shorten those notes on the quarter notes. So I'm kind of letting off the pressure, controlling the pressure that time with my, my left hand. So you don't have to do that, but that kind of adds a little more of a playful kind of style, I think. So give that a try if you want. You don't have to add that, but it's optional, okay? One more time, measure four and five. Now measure six, second fret on the A string, and then second fret again, third fret on the A, back to the second fret. So keep your first finger down. We've got one, two, and three, and then open A. Same timing, one, two, and three, and. So we're doing a down, down, up, down, up. Keep your first finger down, or is this the urge to lift that finger up because you're going right back to that note? And then fifth fret on the D, second fret on the D, quarter notes, one, two, and then a down up on the open D. So you've got, so. And then second fret on the D, Open A, 4th fret on the D, 5th fret on the D. That's our ending lick. So good practice, get, get the proper angle with your hand so you can get that open A string to ring out. Let's play the whole first basic melody. Okay, now let's break down the second solo. We're going to play that same melody line now adding some extra ornaments.